you can create many this kind of abstract style with this one tutorial so let's start on our channel thing sci-fi delete cube and light add torus by pressing shift a go to the modifiers menu and add subdivision surface make value 5 in both render and viewport then add simple deform modifier give a angle value of 180 or you can play with the value then make a duplicate of simple deform you have to play with both the simple deform for unique unique effect i am selecting bend and giving a angle value of minus 241 you have to play with both the simple deform for the unique result select y in the second simple deform press 1 for the front view then gz to adjust it on z axis add a plane for the background of the scene scale it by pressing s10 then go to edit menu by pressing tab key then select the edge select mode and select the back edge of the plane extrude it on z axis by pressing ez now come back to the object menu by pressing tab key and apply a bevel modifier to the plane give amount of point 52 and segment of 75 adjust the plane on y axis press 1 for front view then select the torus and press periodic key to make it as a focus object now press ctrl alt or 0 to set the camera on the view now go to the camera setting and make the focal length 85 adjust the camera on y axis if required then then in camera setting go to viewport display setting and make passport out to 1 select the torus if you want to add animation to it i will rotate it on y and z rotation only you can do your own animation make a end frame of 150 frame then at frame 1 enter a keyframe on rotation y and z at frame 151 enter keyframe on both y and z then go to the setting tab for this animation we have to go to the cycles make the viewport maximum sampling 6 then supported to experimental and cpu to gpu then select the torus and click new in the shader then go to the setting menu then go to the setting in displacement select displacement and bump now add mix shader in between add emission shader by pressing shift a add color wrap and connect it with mix shader factor make two more duplicate of color wrap by pressing shift d then add Voronoi texture and wave texture connect Voronoi texture color to the color wrap and wave texture color to Voronoi vector press ctrl T if you have enabled node wrangler otherwise you can add it from add-ons connect UV to mapping select Y in wave texture connect Voronoi to the second color wrap select all the four node and make a duplicate by pressing shift d and connect it with the third color wrap now add a displacement node by pressing shift a to add a displacement effect we have to connect displacement with some nodes connect displacement to material output displacement then third color wrap to displacement height make displacement mid value 0 and scale to point 0.2 you can play with the value for some different result 
now see you can see some displacement on the torus now play with the values i am selecting 3 in voronoi scale and 4 in wave texture scale now increase the white portion of first color wrap then connect the second color wrap to the base color of principal bsd add four more points by pressing plus key in color wrap you can add more points if you want to make it more colorful because we are going to add color to each point add color to each point one by one according to your choice this color will play the most important role in this kind of scenes so select the color and adjust the color wrap handle accordingly you can add more and more color if you should required by clicking plus icon on the color wrap select cardinal in color wrap we have to change the position of principal bsdf and emission in mix shader to see the effect select the emission color and increase the strength to 50 do a render image to see how its look in render for now change the render maximum sample to 16 change the second Voronoi texture scale to 3 and wave texture scale to 4 also then increase the black portion in third color wrap we have to add 3 aerial light to the scene for that come back to the layout and add a aerial light by pressing shift a adjust the light on z location then go to the light setting and select disk in shape increase the size by pressing s give it a power of 700 press 7 for top view and make one more duplicate by pressing shift d and adjust it on torus by the help of g and r key and your mouse r key for rotation and g key for motion movement make make one more duplicate of light by pressing shift d and adjust it with the same process decrease these two lights power to 500 then again go to setting tab and add add shader between principal bsdf and mix shader then connect glossy to add shader and decrease its roughness value to 0.185 also decrease the roughness value of also decrease the roughness value completely of principal bsdf reduce the value of spectral also you have to play with the colors to achieve the best possible result make a render image to see how it's look after render you can compare your two render image select slot 2 then make some changes then do one more render image this will render in slot 2 slot 1 will remain as it is now you can compare the two render result and whatever is looking good you can stick to it if you select slot 3 then you can compare three result at one time you can do this by going to rendering menu also
I am strict with the first render, so I am doing Ctrl Z to undo the effect. If possible, then select a higher value in maximum sample of render. Otherwise, you can do a render by 32 or 64 also. Then go to color management and select high contrast in look. Select the plane and add a material by pressing new. Decrease the roughness only. Adjust the plane on the Z location because it will touch the torus while animation. Do a final render image because we will add some composition to it. After render come to the composition. Then select use node. Then check use node. Add viewer by pressing shift A. Connect it with image. Hold shift key and use your mouse right key to make it one point. Then add glare node by pressing shift A. In between select fog glow and play with the values for best result. If you are satisfied with your animation scene then render it as either in PNG sequence or video format. You have to play with simple deform in modifier to make unique unique abstract shape with the one torus. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.